Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the usage of the OER repository. OER is the Open Educational Resources Center website. So to begin with, you can commence by logging in at the login window. So I'm currently logged in using my staff ID, which is my UMS email ID and the associated password. Now, in order to upload data, you need to select your faculty. So my faculty is the Biotechnology Research Institute. Cute. I will click on this icon here and the link now opens me up to this repository page where I can upload my information. As you can see, I have made some recent submissions which include YouTube videos and the associated links. Okay, let's begin uploading our file. So. You go onto the submissions link at this location under my account. You click on submissions first. So when you have your submission window open, which says submission a workflow task, you click on start a new submission. You then select a collection. Among the collections you have, you will be directed to your specific research institute or to your respective faculty. So I'll begin the collection at this level. Click on next. Okay, now th this is where you key in your author name. So in this case, I'm going to key in my name. So I key in my last name over here and my first name and the title. So this title is UMS Biosafety Series. If you have alternative titles or running titles, you may add them at this location. And then you have your date of issue. So date of issue can be today's date or the date on which you publish this particular resource material. So I'm going to select today's date, which is October 11. So there is no publisher for YouTube videos. So I basically write YouTube at this location. If you have a specific publisher, you may key in the details at this location, a citation. If there is one, a series report, you can add identifiers like ISSN numbers based on your specific resource material. So in this case, what we are having is a video. So I select the type, which is video and the language, which is English. So English, and then I go to the next step. The, sub, the website will now prompt you for keywords. For example, I put biosafety, bio risk management. So this is a window in which you clean your abstract. Focuses on risk mitigation. And key in the complete abstract. There's no limit to the number of words. And then you have your sponsors here. In case you uh, have your video is sponsored by a specific grant, a description in which you enter any comments and then the URL. Now, in order to enter the URL, I'm going to click on this YouTube video, which I have created. I click on share and then I copy the URL at this location. I will now transfer this URL to this location. So paste, and then you go to the next step. So as you can see, as this is a trial, I have not added any kind of descriptors. However, you can be as detailed as you like. Now, when you go to this section, which is item submission, you will see something known as upload file. Now for OER, although I have attached a link, I still need to upload a file. In this case, a file is the thumbnail of the video. So I have my thumbnail of my specific video, which is a, in a JPEG or a TIFF format. So I'm going to look through my desktop and you can see I made this specific icon, which is a JPEG thumbnail. So I attach this and I open an ad. And now I have a file description. So I write here, thumbnail link to video. 
So now I've completed this step. I go to the next step. And then I review my submission. So I have my name, the title, the date of submission. You will see additional text to have keyed it in. You can correct these at this point. And I have my JPEG file and it's complete. So now I go to the next step, which is I click here, next. And then I select my distribution license. Now, please make sure that your material is CCBY because Open Educational Resources only supports open resources. You cannot upload copyrighted material to this website. And then you click here, which is a declaration, which is I grant a license. And then you complete your submission. Now, once your submission is completed, the OER repository manager will approve your submission. You will have to wait until this submission is completed. So if you go to the submissions page, which is here, click, you will see the submissions. For instance, I have earlier submitted some videos which have been approved, and now I'm waiting for approval for this particular video. Upon approval, you, this video will appear in your Google Scholar citations. You can also check at this website. So finally, when you complete the entire process, you may log out and return to the home page. So I hope this resource material has been useful and will help you to upload your material to the OER. UMS supports open educational resources and open learning. Please contribute to this repository and build up the repository at UMS. Thank you very much.